The camel thing is like literally triggering. So much so that Turks think the entire rest of the world thinks that they ride camels. Truth or myth, Turkish people react to stereotypes. Turkish culture is very conservative, so dating is not allowed. That's not true. That's not true. Yanlış. <laughs> it's not true at all. I'm just counting the lady that I dated. When you're in traffic, when two camel passes by each other and there's an eye contact, uh, that's how mostly, you know, people meet. Oh, this guy's, oh my God, this guy's triggering every Turk in the chat. There's no camels in Turkey. I mean, I guess there are, but like they're imported. Oh, Jesus Christ. And there's an app actually called I that's care. a meme the camel thing is a meme for the for the westerners who don't understand it's a joke because turkish people hate hate uh when like every turkish person unironically thinks that like every american thinks that turkish people live in the desert and they're really really really insecure about that they hate being called Arab, kind of like Lebanese people. If you're not a Muslim, if you encounter a non-Muslim Lebanese person, if you call them an Arab, they will fucking kill you, okay? Non-Arab, non, uh, non-Muslim Lebanese people are like, no, we're Phoenician. No, we're Phoenician. Turkish people across the board are not Arabic at all, even though there are, like, obviously, even though there are Arabic, uh, there are Arab Lebanese people. Turkish people are not uh, uh, Arabic at all. And they fucking hate uh, being compared to Arabs. Iranians hate it too. Iranians are like, we're Persian. We're Persian. Everybody hates being called Arab in the Middle East. I can't. <laughs> if Austin is your go-to Lebanese person, you guys have lost the plot. You think I don't know other Lebanese people? Austin is not even like, Austin's like fucking, what, what, how Lebanese is Austin? Oh, he's in here. He said very. Shut the fuck up. Your last name is literally show, dude. Like my friend uh, Mo, who was there with me when I was buying a car. So he's Christian Lebanese. And him and his dad especially, like they get fucking mad. If I were to say, when I want to piss him off, I say he's Arab. And he gets mad. They're like, no, we're Phoenician. Do they hate Arabs or just don't like being conflated with them? Uh, big column A, big column B. Bit of both. If we're being honest, there's also a, a new branch of like uh, conservative Turks that are very religious. They're like Kekona Turks, basically. And they despise being called Arab because they like extra hate uh, Arabic people because they associate that with like uh, the Erdogan regime. I'm Arab and it's 100% racist. Yeah, there's definitely, it's definitely racism. They did. İzin vermiyor olsaydı biz şu an eğlenmiyorduk <gülüyor> gibi bir şey yani değil mi? Ama görücü usulüyle de evlenebilirdik yani. Onlar çok eskilendi. Yani zamanla göre değişen bir şey. Ama hala bazı bölgelerde de Türkiye'nin böyle şeyler oluyor. I can say like, you know, Turkey is quite a diverse country. So yes, the western side is completely free to date. You can date it. His shirt is fucking fire. Anybody you want, male, female, towards East, it's, it's a little bit more challenging. So families have a lot of impact on when it comes to dating and the marriages. People sometimes need to hide their dating. And are there arranged marriages in Turkey? Yes. yes. There are. İşte bilmem kimin Genelde oğlu varmış. Genelde aile, evet. He. Bilmem kimin oğlu doktormuş. Hadi seni ona yapalım. Arkadaş oldun siz. Evet. In, in Turkish culture also family is important. They just don't see it like two people are getting married. It's also like the families they are getting yeah. married. That's the, that's the meta. My, even my dad says that, you know what I mean? You don't marry someone, you marry their family. Always. So how did you, how did you meet? Çok sıkıcı bir hikayemiz var bence. Evet. Çok böyle... Çalıştığımız yerde tanıştık yani. <gülüyor> ya benim aklım, ikimizin de aklında hiç evlilik yoktu bu arada. Yo. <laughs> All my friends are online dating and they have the same concerns as a, as a North American about online dating. So it's quite global, I would say. Holy sound on, uh, uh, fucking holy sound editing. Stereotypes. Turks drink tea and coffee all day long. Yeah, that's true. It's true. It's pretty true. <laughs> pretty true. They do. Yes. It's true. true. Straight up. Kesinlikle. All day. Turkish tea on breakfast, after breakfast. Turkish coffee. Turkish coffee. 
And then lunch, I don't think they drink tea over after lunch. After lunch? After lunch, after dinner. If they are not having raka, they actually drink tea, tea with raka oh, yeah, too that's sometimes. True. <laughs> so it is. So, so there's like, so you know the concept of like a chai wala, like a, like a chai boy, like a tea guy? In a normal Turkish work environment, and I, I know I literally worked in uh, a, a, a Turkish news agency back in the day. Every floor has literally like a kitchen where there's a dude that makes tea. Like there's a guy specifically that makes tea and, and serves tea on the floor, usually. That's how fucking big tea is. You drink it all day, every fucking day, literally. And no, like, Chai Boy is not what I'm talking about. It's like, this is a whole-ass adult. Saman yolu? No, man, what the fuck? Ew. Siktir lan. Gülenci miyim sence? Geri zekalı. Saman yolu dedi ya. İnanamıyorum. Habertürk amına koyayım. Bloomberg. No, Habertürk değil. Bloomberg'de çalıştım. I work from Bloomberg. Yes. Günde 5-10 litre çay içen esnaflar var. My mom is just like, before even like she goes to sleep, sometimes she drinks coffee. Oh yeah. Even like just watch some Turkish TV show programs, like there's always tea there, like I mean, just constantly. At work, yeah. Everybody has a tea lady or tea man, right? Tea? Çayci. Oh yeah. Çayci. Some people has a really good talent to read the Turkish coffee cup after you finish it. And then uh, they can Yeah, see. fortune telling. After you're, done, after you're done drinking Turkish coffee, you flip it over. Uh, on under the thing that you know under the the the plate that holds it, and then you flip it, and then someone reads like an older your aunt will will read your fortune from your from your uh, coffee, like the patterns that it leaves behind. Your future. Önce kahve içersin, sonra e, dibine tarve sıkılır, kapatırsın, üstüne yüzünü bırakırsın ve şekiller oluşsun içinde. Sonra açılıp o şekiller. Yeah, it is. It is interesting. It's a lot of bullshitting. I would say. Of course. It's kind of a way to talk about things that are may not be social. <laughs> Saying he's he's like trying to be a Westerner so bad he's like poo pooing Turkish culture. No, Turkish men are womanizers. Womanizers players? No, I don't think so. It really depends. I don't I don't know if womanizer is the right word. I think I think they're tenacious, passionate. Okay, tenacious, passionate, obsessive is is adequate. They're obsessive sometimes if they want. Yep. Something they they will do anything to to to get that. Yok ya değil o kadar diye düşünüyorum. Kendisi çok eski çapkınlardan bir böyle. Çapkın. O yüzden cevap veremedi. Tamamen yalan söylüyor şu anda. Tourists from like Russia, Germany or whatever. They come there for five days, one week. Oh yeah, okay, that's that's fair. Yes. Turkish people love going to Antalya, Bodrum, Alanya, like summer areas. That's where all the all the British, German, and Russian uh, uh, women uh, tourists come. Hayır, Akdeniz'de neler olduğunu anlatma. I'm I'm re I'm leaking the memes, and you know that's where everybody goes, and that's where everybody hooks up. They are like just approaching. Hello, how are you? Are you good? Are you disco? Are you coke? Like yeah. it's like kind of like very limited English, but they still are want to disco? move on to. Uh, yeah. Tourist woman, so they're oh, like, yeah. are you disco? Means like, you want to go to disco? Yeah, <laughs> like, sometimes are you disco? they really force it like, I mean, no, it's not, no. A lot of men who think the world, world is revolved around them, and you can find a bunch of them in Turkey as well. Powered by religion, culture, powered by uh, mama's calling men, they're the kings and the, the prince of, the, of their family. <laughs> Turks are obsessed oh. with soap operas. I, I can't speak on this one. I, I I don't think so, but I think I guess hella people watch them. No. Çok pembe dizimiz vardır. Akşamlar çok izlenir. Biz izlemiyoruz ikimiz ama 
Biz genel televizyon ben izliyorum. <gülüyor> And now that I have a Turkish girlfriend, we started watching soap opera <gülüyor> oh, <yeah. gülüyor> Before I was not. Yeah. And now it's like, now it's tea time. Every Wednesday we're watching Sadakatsiz. Oh, <gülüyor> it's the stupidest show ever. O bir batak zaten. Yani o batağa girdin mi? To be fair though, I think my mom and dad watch that shit too. And it's like weird because I don't think they used to when I was growing up in Turkey. But they do now. It's like wild. So I don't know. They are wild. Like, you know, Muhteşem Yüzyıl, it's 139 episodes and each episode is an hour and a half long. Yeah, I do know. They're, they're, they're nonstop, bro. Turkish telenovelas are fucking crazy. I don't know how the fuck they film any of that shit. You don't watch it. You still watch it because you wake up in the morning and you wake up in the morning and you do something like that. I watch Yargı every Sunday. How long do the robbers go for? 10 hours. No. With ads, it's, with commercial three no, hours. No, with commercial three hours, without <laughs> commercial two hours. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's, it's so long. We're good at it. It makes it have like makes you cry. Yeah. Like I'm, like I'm not, I'm not a cry baby, but I'm like, why is this happening? And I don't want to cry, but yeah, it's good. So it's like a lot of emotions. <laughs> yeah, there's hella dubs. There's a lot of dubs of Turkish uh, shows. Europe is easy. This is my country's. Uh, galiba, evet. Veganım, yani daha ne diyebilirim ki? Wait, what? Turkish cuisine consists, consists mainly of kebab? Is, I mean... <gülüyor> Americans think everything is a kebab. Bunlar döneri de kebab diyor abi, o yüzden. Her şeyi kebab zannediyor Amerikalılar. Et varsa kebab diyorlar. Ondan he, aslında evet, hepsi kebab yani amına koyayım. Turkish cuisine does not consist mainly of kebab, but... Americans think everything is a kebab. Westerners think everything in Turkey is a kebab. So they call like döner a kebab when döner is not a kebab. A kebab is a very specific thing. Like Adana, Urfa, it's uh it's the it's the minced meat that you you put on a on a shish almost. Or like well I guess you have a shish kebab too. But because they think everything is a fucking kebab, they you know. Veganum, yani daha ne diyebilirim ki? Ama o kebap çok yer. You can say everyone eats sushi in Japan all the time. Some parts people do eat kebap. Ya ukala bu ya. Doğru söylüyor da ukala yani. Lunch, dinner. You go there, you come back with a heartburn. And some parts of Turkey, um, close to West and close to Greece, they they they have a lot of Greek influence. It's very fish, seafood heavy and vegetable heavy diet. And about kebap, it's just like yeah one. One type of uh, food, like like there's a, like a doner kebab, Adana kebab, Urfa, like just became popular. Like with uh, the Turkish immigrants, they went to like a Germany, and it's easy easy take out like a food. And I think just it just started there. Can you guys tell me what your favorite Turkish dish is? Seçkin genellikle benimle onu bahsettiğimiz daha. I fucking hate bamya okra. So awful. Bamya dedi ya. İşte vejetaryan al. Vegan. E tabi. No, they don't even fry it, bro. They don't even fucking fry it in Turkey. It's so slimy and hairy. It's just the weirdest fucking thing to eat, bro. I don't understand it. Americans eat it too. It's so nasty. I just... Oh, God. We have like stuffed grape leaves. Oh my god, it's my favorite. Put some yogurt on it. It's like paradise. But I do miss a good kebab. I would say. No, I don't. I'm not a meat person. Imam bayıldı. Isn't it meat? No. Yes, but not kebab. Turks tend to get dramatic and jealous. Yes, one hundred percent, one million percent. Anyone that says no to this is a liar. Yes, true. So think about it. You're watching three hours of soap opera that talks about drama, jealousy. So, so for dramatic. For sure they're dramatic. For sure they're Turkish jealous. men especially. Oh my God. I mean, Turkish women too. The, the, the common stereotype of Turkish women is that they're like little princesses. They're daddies. Turkish women are daddy's little princess and Turkish men are mommy's little uh, uh, prince. All, everyone is incredibly spoiled straight up uh, in our culture. And and men are incredibly fucking dramatic. I mean, I'm incredibly dramatic as well. So, but yeah. Oh, this is part of society. It's part of culture. Ben kıskanç değilim. Seçkin de sen de değilsin. İnanamıyorum. Hiç inanmıyorum. Genel olarak, İçine de inanmıyorum. Yalan söylüyorlar. Türkler, 
Biraz güvensiz. I think they're lying. I think it comes from like our genes. Like you have to be jealous. Kind, kind of like. That jealousy is kind of like I care about you. I love you. Look. See, that's the, that's unhealthy. He's already trying to rationalize it. No, it's unhealthy. Not what he said, but that uh, Turkish men are jealous and dramatic and dramatic and jealous in general. You have to be around me, so right? you can see it like that. E exactly. If you're, so. if you're not jealous, like, oh, you don't, you don't love me. Yeah, it's no confirming. Way, yeah. It's confirming that there's passion. There mm -hmm. is a kind of love. On the contrary, if you look at North America, no one wants to be with someone who's jealous. It's confirms there's insecurity. I think it's about people in warmer countries. They're they're more jealous. I feel like that. <laughs> Arab. Being compared to Arabs. What's the most annoying stereotype you get as a Turk? That's what they're gonna say. It's a Middle Eastern country. Yeah, <laughs> see? So Turkey, okay, then camels, deserts. Deveye bilmiyoruz, evet. Bunu söyleyebilirim. Kesinlikle deveye bilmiyoruz ve Arapça konuşmuyoruz. Yes. The camel thing is like literally triggering. So much so that Turks think the entire rest of the world thinks that they ride camels. Every Turk thinks everyone outside of Turkey, everyone in the Western world thinks Turks ride camels to school. How'd you learn about Turkey so much? Did you do your research? Yeah. Um, I just researched. I'm a Turkaboo. I'm Like thinking that we're living in deserts. Yeah. That's not true. We are surrounded by seas, like, you know, the Black Sea, Mediterranean Sea and all that. So, oh, you're dark because you're from Turkey. It's so sunny all the time out there. It was like, Ooh. sometimes it's cold. I mean, we have four seasons, like. True. Go to Asia, take a ferry to go to Europe side, grab a tea, and before your tea gets cold, you can actually, you know, go from Asia to Europe. It's a fun experience in Istanbul. The land is so diverse. There are a lot of people from a lot of uh, neighbors uh, from Turkey that brings their own culture, own food, own language. It's pretty much representative of the history that you can find in Turkey. You know, people do go like Antalya and this Turkey for them. Like, it's a huge you know, country. Like, if you go like, I'm saying like, oh, we also have snow. Do you have snow there? Oh, really? Like, yeah. Maybe Bursalı, Bak. Bursalı diyor, bizde de, bizde de var diyor şey, dağ var diyor, kar var diyor, tabi Bursalısın. He's from a part of uh, Turkey, Bursa, which I don't know why uh, is also the, uh, people say like uh, gay people come from. Um, I don't know why, like old, it's like an old school Turkish meme. Maybe because of like Zeki Müren, but um... Hiç duymadınız mı abi bilmiyor musun? Ben babam derdi hep. Severim Bursa'yı Zeki'yi. It's like a meme. Um, but also, I don't even know if it's like a meme that people... Bursa çocuğuyum her yerde sikişirim. I don't even know if that like... Uh, I don't know if that meme even exists. Um, anymore. But that's like an old school meme in Turkey. Bursa'ya girişimiz oldu. Bir de çıkışımız oldu. Kazandık, para kazandık. And then... Um, the other, the other thing, the reason why I said that though, is because Bursa is where, uh, there's a massive mountain, um, a lot of skiing and shit. Yeah, even if it's not, I don't know whether it's desert or not. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> Arabs freed Constantinople from the Roman Empire. See, this guy's trying to fucking Osama the Hun. This guy's trying to trigger. Uh, everyone, all the Turks, says Arabs literally freed Constantinople. They're not Arabs, motherfucker. They're Turks. They came from the steppes. How long has it been since you've been there? Do you feel like you're behind the meta at all? Yes, dude. I am so behind the meta. Are you crazy? I don't know what the fuck's going on in Turkey, dude. I haven't been to Turkey in years. <laughs>